What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is COD 2020 or as it's going to be now known uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Now the logo for it has seemingly been leaked by someone on Twitter with the handle Garnet Sunset and I'm actually not able to show the original image because I don't want to get copyright strike but if you kind of look it up on you uh, on Google Images, you'll be able to see it. But this is one that someone else made that I'll show here now. Now, we all thought it was going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Instead, now it seems that it's going to just be called Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, in the image that I can't show, but I'll just show this image because it's more or less the same. On the bottom left is a file saying confidential and it actually references 1976 now this seems to be somewhat the time the game is going to be set in now there were also cod 2020 alpha patch files leaked and you can actually download them and i'll actually leave a link down in the description below for people who like the data mine and everything like that they can get their hands on it and a lot of people already have and there is reference in the data files that data miners have gone through to zombies, campaign, and of course, multiplayer. Now, the code name or the placeholder for this is the red door. Of course, we don't know what that means or anything like that. It could easily just be a thing that they just put on it. And most people think that it's the Soviet Union. Because of the red, you know, red usually goes with Soviet Union, but also goes with China. So, you know, you don't really know. But in that era, you could say, mm, yeah, it could be Soviet Union. But we're not really sure as of now. Now, with the game supposedly being set in both the Cold War era and the Vietnam era as well. So, with the image that I just showed here. Uh, having the classified file on it and referencing 1976 a few things actually happened in 1976 which was the in the time of the cold war era so looking at the cold war timeline we see that 1976 june 8 chinese premier joe in lorry dies of cancer now i doubt we'll actually see this in the black ops it might be referenced i'm not really sure in the black ops soft reboot game that everyone thinks it's going to be i'm not really sure march 24th the national reorganization process takes power in argentina following a successful military coup and launches military action against argentine base guerrillas uh, George Rafael Vidal is installed as president so this we could see maybe uh, Woods Mason and Hudson or just Woods and Mason go to Argentina and maybe help with the military coup I'm not really sure if it'll play into the game I don't really know I'm just kind of spitballing off my head and everything like that June 29th Seychelles becomes independent from the UK under Commonwealth status. Not really to do with the Cold War, really and truly. I don't. You never know. It might be mentioned. I, I don't know. They could easily make something that a big civil unrest or something happened there, and you go. I I don't really know to be honest. July second, Vietnam was reunited. Now here we could see something happening because of. The game supposedly being set both in the Cold War era and the Vietnam War era. So we could see maybe uh, Woods and Mason fighting in the Vietnam War. And then when it was reunited being in Vietnam as well. You know that seems like a pretty cool thing to do. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. It's open for possibilities. July 20th US military personnel withdrawn from Thailand. Now with this we could see maybe Woods and Mason go and have to extract people from Thailand or important people in the military that can't actually get back. Now we could see something like the attack on the embassy like in Modern Warfare. However, I don't know if this could happen. It'd be pretty cool if it did, don't get me wrong. It'd be really cool but will it happen? I'm not sure. It'd be kind of something 
interesting to see because we had it in Modern Warfare and we could have something like this in Thailand for military personnel being withdrawn or we have to kind of like secure this bay for the Navy to come in and collect everybody. I'm not really sure what could happen. September 1st, inception of Safari Club. Now, Safari Club was an alliance of intelligence services or agencies the members were iran egypt saudi arabia morocco and france now they all ran covert operations around africa so we could see like i don't know maybe woods and mason going on covert operations for these intelligence agencies set up by the countries to gather intel for them and y'all kind of share intel with america and everything like that September 9th, death of Mao Zin Zidong. I think I'm pronouncing that name right. I'm not really sure. He was the founding father of the People's Republic of China, which he ruled as the chairman of the Communist Party of China from its creation in 1949 to his death in 1976. Now, it says he died of a heart attack, so we could see maybe Woods and Mason... Uh, infiltrate maybe his place or kind of where he might be hiding out or something and give him some toxin that makes uh, it look like he had a heart attack maybe you know that's just me spitballing finally then we have December 4th insurgency in ASIC I, I don't really know how to pronounce it I think I'm pronouncing it right I'm not really sure uh, begins this was kind of like a war that happened because ASIC uh, wanted to be free from the Indonesian government who they fought from 1976 to 2005, which is a long, long ass time. Now their goal was to make AK an independent from Indonesia. Again, we could see something happen here where Woods and Mason or even Hudson as well uh, go and fight with the insurgency. I don't really know. These are just kind of coming off the top of my head. I'm not really sure what could happen. It's, of course, it's open for numerous stories and everything to happen. Now, just up from the confidential file, there's actually a nuke going off. So we could possibly see a nuke maybe going off, just like in Modern Warfare, the original game. With, with it, I don't really know. With this, beside this, there's a map of the world uh from kind of back in the day where he, it showed kind of uh soviet union and all that and then on the bottom right you have a nuclear site aerial view of course you can't see it in this but if you do see the image uh on google images then you'll understand what i mean and yeah that's the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button right beside that is the notification bell to hit that to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or whenever i go live on the channel which is rare but you know it may be it may happen speaking of live streams i have a you i have a youtube channel i have a twitch channel linked down in the description below which i live stream to weekly where I stream numerous games, Call of Duty, Minecraft, uh, Warzone, Minecraft, <laughs> I'm just naming off near enough everything, Tom Clancy's, Uncharted, and many, many more. And I also have a Twitter account, which I manually update whenever I upload a video, or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel, or even when I go live on my YouTube channel. And link down in the description below to that as well, and you can hit the hit Hit the follow button when you're there as well. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.